so I have to share this bit with you look at the state of that cable I mean was the guy trying to tie a snake up or what so I'm gonna to get to unravel that so the front sensor has got a clip holding the cable just here you've got to lift this heat protector down I put a spanner in it to hold it open and the clip you may even just be able to see it if I try and shine the light somewhere up there I don't think so anyway it's oh, nearly it's in that dark shadow figure there's the clip that holds the cable so I managed to get a little screwdriver in there and unclip that clip and the cable then runs round and I managed to loop it over the rear heat shield and get the sensor out. I'll try and show you how I did that. So this is just the assembly process, reverse is just the same. So you can see I've looped the sensor over the heat shield here, a bit hard to see, sorry. There's the sensor and there's the ECU and I've just looped them over and I'm going to slide them along this front heat shield all the way to the front. Okay, you can see I've got them across, about halfway down now. So they're just here before the cross member and now I'm just going to thread them, keep going like that around all the features. It's a bit tricky, but you can get it to the front. So I've got the sensor in and the cable in. You can see my spanner there where I've made a bit of room. And I can tell you I didn't bother using the clip again underneath there. I'm just going to put some cable ties on the cable to stop it moving around. I've put the sensor in and on this side I've put the ECU just in place loose and the same on this side I'm not going to use the clip I'm just going to put a cable tie because I've got a feeling I'll be changing this sensor again by comparison the rear sensor takes about five seconds to change just undo the two uh, nuts holding the sensor unclip the wires on this clip and this clip here and this clip here undo the nut 22 millimeters and take the sensor off and swap it over about a 30 second job okay so that sensor is now back in all buttoned up front one just check the connector is fully in okay and now i'm going to put on the two shields this is the side shield and the engine shield 